Yo, what's up Bali? How you guys doing? Apa kabar? And selamat pagi. Rahajeng Semang. The governor of Bali now focusing on villa and homestay business that owned by foreigners. So make sure you watch this video until the end because in this video, I'm gonna tell you what you need to prepare so you can continue own and run your property business in Bali. My name is Okimisa, I'm your host in Bali. Welcome to What's Up Bali channel, the number one channel for you to know how to travel to Bali, how to live in Bali, and condition in Bali now. If you're interested on those, consider to subscribe. Guys, after the do and the don't list signed by the governor, after his planning to forbid mountain climbing for tourism purposes, it's gonna be only for religion purposes. And now the governor of Bali is focusing on illegal villa and homestay business in Bali, which owned by foreigners. He's gonna check that those villa and homestay has permit and pay taxes. On the 2nd of June, the governor said that he already orders regents and mayors to take an action immediately toward this uh, illegal, without permit, non-paying taxes, villa and homestay all over Bali. And he also said that he's gonna make sure that those villa, those homestay, is not gonna be in a green zone, which is a lot in Janggu. He also asked people surrounding neighbors to report if heard or see or knowing there's a villa or homestay which owned by foreigners without permit and not paying taxes. Based on his knowledge, I have to read this, the, the governor said, now the illegal villa and homestay in Bali which not have permit and not paying taxes so illegally is already 30% of the total of villa and homestay in all Bali. 30%, that's a big loss for Bali. 30% not paying taxes by listing their property in Airbnb or any other platforms. Then the guest will pay the platform and the platform will pay directly to the owner of the villa, the foreigners, in their bank account in their country. So there's no money stopped in Indonesia, even their business is in Bali. That's why the governor said this must be stopped because they earn money in Bali, but the money not even stopped in Indonesia. They just go straight from the guest country to the owner's country. So for you who already run a villa or homestay right here in Bali, better you prepare yourself because they made some visit from the government to check your permit and your tax payment. So okay, how are we gonna pay the tax? First, you need to have tax payment registration. We call it here NPWP, NPWP. That's how you pay the tax. You will get this tax registration number if you have the PMA because it's the PMA who have to pay the tax in real estate, in business property. If you fail to show the document, your business may will terminate it by the government, by the law. So be careful guys, you're gonna lose your investment because of that. So for you who already own and run property business right here in Bali and for you who plan soon to open up a property business right here like renting out villa and you don't have a PTPMA, the LLC for foreigners so you don't have the tax payment registration call your visa agency like me wait okay why visa agency not to the notary or something because all is related the director of the PMA must have investor kitas which the notary cannot issue only the visa agency can help you with that and why the director need investor kitas? Because the director is the one will be registered for the PMA tax payment. So that's why I said at least the director need the investor kitas. Of course, other shareholders, commissioners welcome to have the kitas too, the investor kitas too. But at least the director have the investor kitas. That's why I said contact your visa agency like me to help you with your investor kitas and the PMA. It's one bundle. You cannot get investor kitas without having PMA except if your director is local so he only need to show his local ID card and his NPVP personal then it's okay but if your director is foreigners then investor kitas and PMA let, so let me continue as I said first you need to go to the visa agency like me again this is my email and ask them ask me to help you with the PMA and investor kitas and then in about two months you will receive 
your NPWP, the NPWP, the tax registration number for your PMA, and you will receive your permit and seven others documents. So totally you will receive nine documents. I already talked about this in this video. Make sure after you watch this video, check this video so you understand what you need to have and also the process on making PMA and investor kitas. I also mentioned the link down in the description. You don't have to write it down. So if you still have a question, freely to send me email, I will explain it again. Even you're not gonna go with me for your PMA and physical kit test. But if you are, thank you so much. And you know what, I think the governor focusing on Fila and homestay, it's just the beginning. I'm pretty sure next he will focus on a cafe and a restaurant, which is many and many in Changu and Ubud and any other tourist destination area in Bali. I'm pretty sure they're gonna go there next. So for you, cafe owners, restaurant owners, also please prepare yourself. Contact me or contact your visa agency where they're still focusing on Fila. Now you still have time, so prepare yourself so you're not gonna lose your investment. I remember about three months ago, maybe four months ago, I think three months ago, there's one of our viewers came to me and asked me to make it easier, like, you know, like cutting corner. They're kind of accusing me that, that, that they have to pay expensive, which then I said, no, I can't because if there is a problem, like now, the government check documents of foreign business. This will be problem if their document is not complete, right? And if that happen, I may cannot help them. So it's actually for their own sake. I mean, for you guys who plan to move to Bali, you plan to live in Bali for good, and especially you already invest so much money, why well, you have to make a cheaper a little bit, but have a bigger risk. That I don't understand. If you really want to live here, if you really want to move here, don't play around, especially with the law well anyway i hope they're doing fine and that's all from now share this video so more and more people know about this news hit the subscribe button for those who haven't this one and smash the notification bell the bell so you won't miss any update from me regarding how to travel to bali how to live in bali and condition in bali now my name is okimisa until next video take care